So we have an announcement from the World Central Headquarters of something. <laughs> Morning hair, yes, fine, I don't care. Morning hair, I don't care. It's a good line. So there has been a membrane, a distinction, a cutoff, a meeting, a separation point. See, it's both a meeting and a separation point. Feel that. It's both a meeting and a separation point. Of what the teachers used to have to separate themselves from the world. Uh, students and teachers. They used to have to create monasteries and so forth, right? And Jesus said, it. I don't know, you can't serve both God and mammon. There's a programming that has run the world. When the, when the world goes into chaos, the strong men step in. When the country goes into chaos, you get a military dictator. The military maintains order. Well, on earth, there was a fall into chaos. So the military, the controlling aspect, the use of force, authority, forced authority, has been in control on earth for a long time because of programming. So you have to program the people to act a certain way. The military has no discussion. There's no, uh, uh, let's have a, let's feel that through. What's the right course? No, it's take orders or you get shot in the head. Well, that's pretty much what it's been on earth as well. Take orders or you get shot in the head or ostracized or excommunicated or thrown out from the tribe. So this programming of the people, when you start stepping out of the programming into real freedom, you scare the cattle, you scare the sheeple, you because they, they're going, their imprint, their programming, their ter terrific terror, terrific terrorized imprint, is that they will die if they step outside the rules. That's why you can put little signs at the train station that say, "Don't do this," and we just follow it. We are trained Pavlovianly by our, our dinner bells, just like the dog, Pavlov's famous experiment about ringing, ringing the dinner bell every time he fed the dogs. And then eventually he could just ring the bell and they would salivate on command. That's pretty much humans. We are trained in our school system, there goes the bell every 50 minutes. Ding, 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 you're late for class. We're Pavlovianly trained and programmed into behaving in certain ways. And we do it to each other. So... Guilt is a big one, or that's just the way you should be. And the way this shows up, obviously, is, is you know, you should attend your Thanksgiving dinner with your family that you have no fucking thing in common with. And you, you actually, there's not, no, in, nothing. It's just a program that you should attend these uh, programmed holidays, which are obviously, what does it have to do with Jesus? Most of Christmas, 98% of it is like consumerist garbage, you know, at this point. So when you start stepping out into freedom, you're going to break the rules. And sometimes it is incompatible. You know, the old system of, of you have to um, separate yourself out the way the monks used to do it, right? They'd separate themselves out from it. They'd move to the monasteries. They would just become renunciates. It's still kind of there. Now we're trying to do it with within the society to separate ourselves out while we're still in the world but not caught up in it yeah in the world but not of it you know but sometimes there comes a time when it's still not working the programming is so damn strong in people the people that have tried freedom lately they don't fare that well they you know they often die well they usually die you know rock and roll stars artists you know they die young because they're going for freedom, but the collective is so strong in programming us, you know, that you're weird or an outcast or whatever when you do that. So sometimes there is a time when you, you have to walk away. You have to let the dead bury the dead. You got to let the program get the shit kicked out of them. Their wake up calls, the holy trifecta of awakening, as you may have heard me say it, divorce, bankruptcy and cancer. Wonderful. Bring it on. Bring it on. Wake the sheep up, you know. Have their kids be raped by priests, you know, have their medical doctors, you know, actually kill them. Have the pharmaceutical, I mean, pharmaceutical industry, you know, just kill millions of people every year, really. Those are underreported statistics. So as you're coming out of the programming, there, 
it's a whole new way of living, but the scared sheeple, the scared cattle people, the program people, God bless us, we're all, we're all that way. I'm not, you know, not make a division here. But there is a time when you can't help. You've got to let them, uh, you got to shake the dust from your feet. You got to not throw your pearls before swine. Really? Sweetie, hi, sweetie pie Jesus uses that? Pearls and calling the people, the program people, swine? Mm, Mr. Prince of Peace, Mr. Sweetheart, right? And back in Christian times, he could actually be the king. King Arthur tried it, didn't work. Failed experiment. King Arthur Camelot failed experiment. Krishna did it. He was the king of a certain part of India, and he was also an, a, a, an awake avatar, master, a being that could walk between the worlds. It's about the last time it was done successfully on the actual, in the actual 3D world. Buddha did not uh, attempt or uh, go for being a king. At that point, it was impossible. A worldly king. Jesus, too, by the way. Why do you think King Herod was also shook up about the king of the Jews? Because the experiment there was actually to make him a temporal, a practical, a 3D on the throne king as well. Little told, untold story. Anyway, there's a lot deeper history to all that stuff. So the programming in the world, as you start coming out of it, there are times when you just have to go, okay, I have to walk away. I have to be away from it. Because no matter how much I explain, my well-meaning grandparents and parents and sisters and brothers and the university and scientism and religionism, all that stuff, it is simply going to want to pull you back into the fold to keep you safe. The cattle are safe until the truck comes and backs up and they have to get into the cattle truck and then we don't want to think about what happens later. This thing about harvesting souls on earth is exactly about that. There's harvesting stations in the ethers around this planet that if you are a programmed person, now it's as loving as possible. God, source of the universe, does it as loving as possible. But that's a whole nother topic. So, as you're coming out of the programming, there are times when you really have to remove yourself from certain influences. Because no matter what you say, how much you say, how much you try to show them, they will not get it until they have it smack themselves in the face. They need the actual experience, not the words. They need the experience because they'll agree with the words. Oh, you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody agrees with the words. But actually walking your talk, it's a different situation. So ask for that those times. When am I staying in this situation? And when is it time for me to get my ass up off the sit, you Asian, and get into the moving situation? Hope that made some sense. Much real love. Blessings.